So now let's learn something about electrochemistry. And let's start with redox reactions. Consider the reaction copper solid reacting with 2 Ag plus aqueous giving you copper 2 plus 2 Ag. So before we proceed further, let's just divide it into a two half reactions. The first reaction is copper solid becoming copper 2 plus. So if you observe carefully, you find that copper is losing two electrons. And any time there is a loss of electron, we call it oxidation. So the other part of the reaction is Ag plus getting converted into Ag. So the in this case, what has happened? Ag plus has gained one electron. And any time the process of gaining electrons, we call it as reduction. Or how do you remember it? You can just uh, use this uh, short form. Oxidation is loss of electrons. That means OIL. And reduction is gain of electrons. That is RIG. So remember the word oil rig. Oxidation is loss of electrons. Reduction is gain of electrons. There is another way of remembering is Just look at the number line given there. We have neg negative on the left hand side, positive on the right hand side. Any time the charge on the ions changes from the positive to the negative side. That is, it changes from, say, 2 to positive 2 to 0 or positive 3 to positive 2 or it just changes from negative 1 to negative 2. This process is reduction. And any time the opposite takes place, the charge changes to the right hand side. So that means it goes from, say, 0 to 1 or it goes from 1 to 2 or it goes from negative 2 to positive 2. You can call it as oxidation. So this number line will be very easy for people who have those figurative uh, learning sense. So draw the number line on your exam paper. So when you are working out, a refer to the number line, you will never go wrong. You can very clearly predict what is oxidation, what is reduction. For example, uh, look at the example we have taken. Copper is getting converted into copper 2 plus. So the charge is changing from 0 to 2 plus. Therefore, this is oxidation. And silver plus is getting converted from plus to 0. So therefore, it is going from plus 1 to 0. So it's going towards the reduction side. Therefore, this is reduction. So another thing which you have to know about this is this is a reaction in which both oxidation and reduction takes place. So we call it as a redox reaction. And uh, since copper is getting oxidized, it be the reducing agent. And since silver plus is getting reduced, it will be the oxidizing agent. For the following reactions, predict uh, which is getting oxidized, reduce and uh, also predict the oxidizing and the reducing agent. The first reaction is the reaction of Mn2 plus plus thiosulfate is 2 oa 2 minus. In the presence of water, it gives you manganese dioxide, hydrogen ions and sulfate. So, it's a long reaction. Just observe it and you can definitely find out the oxidized thing and the reduced thing. So, Mn2 plus is get, getting converted into MnO2. That means the Mn2 plus has an oxidation state of 2 plus is getting converted to MnO2 where the manganese oxidation state is Mn4+. And S2OA2- has changed into SO4-2-. If you check the oxidation state of all the others, the oxygens and the hydrogens, you can see that it doesn't change. So the oxidation state of sulfur has changed from plus 7 to plus 6. So based on this, you can say that Mn2 plus is oxidized to Mn4 plus and S plus 7 is oxidized to S plus 6. And therefore, uh, the one which gets oxidized is a reducing agent. Therefore, Mn2 plus is a reducing agent. And S2OA2 minus is the oxidizing agent. Similarly, for the second reaction, aluminum is getting converted into Al3 plus. Therefore, this is loss of electrons. Therefore, aluminum is oxidized. Oxygen O2 is getting converted into O2 minus. It gains electron. Therefore, this is reduction. And oxygen will be the oxidizing agent and aluminum will be the reducing agent. And for the third case, 
and uh, hydrogen is getting converted into water. So the oxidation state 0 is getting converted into positive 1. Therefore, it, gain, it loses electron and therefore it is oxidation. And copper oxide to copper, the oxidation state changes from plus 2 to 0 and therefore this is reduction. An oxidizing agent, copper oxide is the oxidizing agent and hydrogen is a reducing agent. Similarly, you can work out for the fourth equation and you will see that uh, ammonia is getting oxidized to nitrogen and copper oxide is getting reduced to copper, oxidizing agent being copper oxide and reducing agent being ammonia.